All right, I'm just back after lunch and uh, looks like my dad has come through. Gotten the skid steer here for me. This is our, uh, our JCB 330. Had it for a few years now. And uh, he also uh, got us our stakes that we needed to at least get started. Here's 40. I believe there's 40 there. I didn't count them, but uh, that's what we had. He had told me that uh, we got this time. And then, as I mentioned, they're working on the other 70. So we're gonna take that skid steer and uh, take those posts down and see if we can't get the first one set and go so you know go around the uh, perimeter get them laid out uh, he's also gone to uh, get me an auger for it i think most people when they have the tools or the equipment to uh, to, to do the work with the equipment then uh, i think they'll opt out on the hand tools when it comes to digging holes so and that's exactly what i'm doing so anyway we're going to get the uh, post uh, hole driller or auger on the skid steer probably this afternoon and then we'll uh, carry on with the post. For now I'm going to go and put these posts in the holes that I've got dug and get some uh, good lines uh, pulled to, and, and mark out the next sections of uh, for the next uh, posts that need to go in between those. So. When I was talking to uh, an older gentleman there today, he was talking, or I was telling him I was putting fencing in, and actually he's the one that I'm renting the uh, the auger from. And he was saying that uh, when you're putting the stakes in, even though you're drilling them out, still sharpen them so that in the future, if the frost starts to heave them or something, then you can drive them back down on the ground and they'll drive better. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is sharpen these stakes and put them in the ground. I don't know if you can see that. You probably did, but there's a lot of water in the hole. And uh, yeah, it splattered out when I got all over me.
So just in case I didn't mention, these uh, these are cedar cedar posts that have been peeled and I don't know if it's just called peeling or I don't think so. I think it goes through a certain type of machine to pull the bark and shape it. But anyway, yeah, another tool I forgot would be a shovel. Would have been good to have a shovel. What I'm gonna do is sharpen some. All right, so we got uh, one of the permanent uh, fence posts in place. And uh, that's the start of everything here, I guess, outside of the house when it comes to the animals. So, so we'll come back to you in a little bit just to show you uh, what we've got done and we'll touch base later. I was working along and it's nice and sunny today. As you can see, I was uh, looking down at my arms and I could see I'm getting burnt and I'm not one to get burnt. Very uh, light complected. I think uh, you'll see from the footage over the summer that uh, I think Joni carried the gene of tanning and I carried the gene of burning and then burning again and burning again. Anyway, I better uh, run back to the house real quick and grab some sunscreen. Or it's all be hurting tonight. Hey everyone, it's afternoon. Four, I think it's 4.30. Or just after 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, you can see Get my finger in the right spot here. My dad uh, finally was able to gather up all the parts and pieces we needed. We had borrowed or rented a uh, auger from somebody else, got it here, hooked it up, and fittings weren't right, of course, because JCB have their uh, have their own attachments. Well, I don't know if it's their own, but it was different than what was on the uh, what was on the auger. So anyway, we uh, finally got the the auger at fourth. 4:30. I'm gonna still spend a few hours putting uh, putting some holes down and and getting some post in, and uh, hopefully we'll get at least all the corners still in today as we had planned. So we've gone from manual to the equipment. So much better.
So we'll just show you is what we have, what we got done today. Not as much as we wanted to, but we still got some done. So uh, this is the first stake that we had put in. Uh, dug that one out by hand. Second one as well, which is over here. And then we have the third, fourth, fifth. Now that one there is a, a lot higher because probably only two feet down I hit a uh, ledge. So we'll have to do some uh, extra bracing there. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm doing corner braces anyway, so hopefully that'll be enough to, to hold it. If anybody has any comments or any thoughts on how to stiffen that up any better or if it needs any more, then go ahead and add some in the comment section. But So tomorrow morning we're gonna take it over to here, which is where we're gonna put the gate over here I'm gonna put a gate on this side of the driveway and a gate on the other side of the driveway so that will swing uh, both gates open to cross the driveway so that we'll be able to move the cows from the paddock area over into that first pasture or into that pasture that's over there which will be that um, which I think that that side there is probably about four acre field I would say just that's a pure guess so just based on the size looking at it I would guess around four acres I could be off on that I probably am off on that actually but anyway that is uh, what we did today like I said it's 6 20 gonna go home have some supper play with the kids all right so what a wonderful day is a big milestone for the property. The first, it wasn't very many fence stakes, but it was the first day. And here's, uh, there's a few in, so the next day will be, get easier and it'll get easier because now I'm all prepared. So I guess the only thing I gotta bring uh, tomorrow with me is the shovel. So. I use my foot, so I'm just pushing the dirt back in the holes. But... And then uh, maybe a bigger 2x4 uh, or so something to tamp the material in versus the 2x2 two two that I have. 2x4 two two would probably be better, do a better job. Compact a little quicker. But... Hey everyone, I want to just say thanks for, uh, for watching our channel. Joni and I and the kids are super excited. You can tell the kids are kind of warming up to it, uh, especially uh, a couple of them. But there's still uh, there's still a few of them that are kind of leery on the camera, uncertain whether they want to be on there or not. But those ones we won't put on for uh, for a little while. But yeah, they don't they won't don't want to be shown. Then we're not gonna. Anyway, by the way, we, we really appreciate anybody that's watched. Uh, like I said, like in the last seven days, we've had over like 600 uh, views on our on our five video, five or six videos that we had out now. So that was really super exciting, and uh, I got some comments back. That's really great. Appreciate those comments. Uh, if there's anything that. Uh, uh, any any ideas anybody has for the fencing or anything that we're uh, that you're watching us do? Uh, go ahead and add comments, and we'll uh, we'll, get, we'll get back to you or reply to for sure. And and also, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, then go ahead and subscribe. We'll probably have a video out uh, at least once a week, if not uh, if not twice. And some of the videos may be a little bit longer because they are bigger projects and we've kind of just held off on putting some of the videos out until we get the project finished. But maybe we'll, uh, you know, that's something that maybe you guys can comment on is if you'd rather see long, you know, shorter videos and uh, more often, or if you'd rather see just longer videos where a project goes uh, over a course of maybe three or four days or maybe even a a week or something and we cut it out and edit it put it out in maybe a 20 minute or 30 minute video i think some videos will probably be like that anyway but we might be able to do more 
put out more videos more often if, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested. So. so yeah, I guess it uh, goes to say, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you if you like what uh, what you're seeing, then hit that uh, like button and share the video. And we're just trying to uh, put out good content. Obviously, uh, our experience is very limited right now, but we're hoping to gain, you know, experience to make them better, continue making videos better, and continue to add uh, uh, content that is uh, relevant and 